Geminis, what's poppin'? It's your boy from Cancer Monster coming at you guys with your January 2019 love tarot reading. All right, let's see what's poppin' for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Geminis. Keep in mind, it's a general read. It may apply to some, may apply to none. If it does, that's amazing. If not, it's not your reading. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, baby. Woo, my God. We got so many cards falling all over, baby. What's happening? Now, also, check the description box if you guys want. I have my channel down there. Um, not my channel, sorry. I have my Twitter. Got my Instagram down there as well as my Instinct Go services if you guys want to check that out, okay? January 2019, what's going on for the Geminis, baby? It's an interesting kind of energy that I'm picking up on because it almost feels as if you're feeling a lot more free okay free in the sense of doing things that you've wanted to do but there was a reason why you were like held captive i don't really know if that makes sense of course that's probably for one person not all but um i'm getting an energy of just being a lot more free choosing to do things that make you happy and doing what it is you want to do could be traveling could be experimenting um with certain things um and things of that nature going out just having fun i feel um of course we got new year's coming up which uh, by the time you're watching this it's probably already been new year's but um with that being said too you probably had a good time partying um if you're at a certain party do not take the pill okay <laughs> is the energy that i'm seeing here you know just be careful with what you're doing stick to the normal stuff alcohol marijuana don't go any deeper into the drugs okay i don't know why we're talking about this gemini but let's get it popping okay gemini sun moon rising and venus signs january 2019 let's take a look and see what's happening all right but either way stay away say no to drugs kids gemini mutual energy between you and another person the emperor card you're fucking dominating the game baby okay can be connecting with an aries but it feels like you're in a period of time where you're just taking yourself into account and it's so beautiful because you're very self-driven at the moment um, can be just killing it at work, okay? In an energy where you are very focused on getting that higher status job, very focused at moving up the ladder in your job, very focused on getting that bread, okay? Getting that money. You're in an energy right now where you are claiming victory for yourself and being very self-driven, self-motivated, and it's not selfish. It's not. You are doing things that are gonna be the best in your interest, and that's a beautiful energy to have. Let's keep taking a look here, Gemini, and see what's popping. So the Cancer full moon treated you well, didn't it, okay? You could be on the cusp of Cancer Gemini, or Gemini Cancer, right? Or you can have it in your chart or connecting with the Pisces, okay? Now the moon card being present, this is already talking about the Cancer full moon in, correlations, um, in correlation with the winter solstice. With that energy being present as well, this is what set you into feeling free, doing what it is you need to do, and being very, very sorry, excuse me, self-driven. And the reason why I say that is because every time there's a full moon, there's always a purge, but especially with a full moon and a water sign, it's a big purge, okay? Now, within the readings for the longest of times, um, it's always been about your ex or somebody returning or this and that, and you're over that shit, okay? I can tell all Geminis are over it. I got a lot of Gemini in me too, and I'm over it. I don't want no ex, I don't give a shit. I don't want that. I want to know all about me and where we're going, and I'm going to take you there today, baby, because this reading deserves more justice okay now with the moon card being present like i said in correlation to the cancerian full moon you released a lot of energies released a lot of past things now it doesn't mean that you didn't think about it you thought about it right because when you have to release something you think about it you went deep you thought about the past you thought about everything that didn't serve and then you thought about yourself for a second saying why am i here when i can be here why am i here when i can be here because you can be here right so instead of whatever was holding you back, you decided to drop it and move forward, especially moving into 2019. Great energy to have. Whoever you're connecting with here, Six of Wands, they've already moved forward from you. But I almost feel like this isn't even a person you're connecting with. I feel like this is you, Gemini, because you are claiming victory. Because as for the outcome, Ten of Swords, you have just cut so many things off. You have had so many endings. And those endings have felt beautiful because you came out ton top. You came out winning. Okay, Gemini? So you're in an energy where you can't lose. Letting things go, you can't lose. Because you can only focus on yourself and gradually become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger with whatever it is you're doing. So, I feel as if right now, there's not even a person you are dealing with. I feel like the person you're dealing with is yourself. And that's good, okay? Now, in regards to if you're dealing with a person here, let's take a look at their energy, okay? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 2019. Let's take a look at whoever it is you're connected with. Okay, the devil. Huh? Can be just a Capricorn you're connecting with, of course, but you're connecting with somebody, like I said, I felt as if was holding you back. The Devil, the Lovers, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Whoever this is that you're dealing with here, they have a big soul connection to you, I feel, but at the same time, it's not that connection you necessarily like, because the Devil card is usually a soul tie. 
So you could have had sexual relationships with this person, and anytime you have a sexual relation with somebody, or anytime you have sex with somebody, you instantly create a soul tie. So with this person, they will always have a part of you, as you will always have a part of them. Therefore, you will always be connected, okay? Now, with this person that it is that you're dealing with, it could be a Gemini here or a Capricorn or any sign for that matter, um, this person still has a lot of emotions for you and still carries a piece of you as you do them. So if this is the person that you were releasing, especially after this full moon energy took effect, because it takes um, effect over the first two weeks, so it spans out into January, um, it was difficult for you to release this person because you felt so connected to them because literally you had a piece of them. Now, Queen of Pentacles to the Four of Wands, um, it feels as if whoever this person is that you're connecting with, they aren't with you in a romantic sense at all. So this is definitely a person that you once were involved in or were involved with, but now they're involved with an entirely completely different person. So what's interesting is that not only were you feeling these energies of having to purge and release, but as were they. But the problem is, Gemini, is that you'll always be connected to this person you know for life unless you do reiki or you know anything about cord cutting and believe me i'm not a i'm not a master i'm not a professor so don't ask me in the comments do a lot of research okay but cord cutting is one hard son of a bitch now regardless you'll always be connected to this person this person will always be connected to you but the difference is is in this period of time in january like in december they were trying to reach out they were trying to come back in january they're moving on as are you because this person's mirroring you now, I do want to say something here, too. This could be a person that does have twin flame-like tendencies, but I don't feel like it's a twin flame. I feel like it's a catalyst, meaning that this person you're connecting with is not your twin flame, but they are your false twin. They mirror you in very specific ways as, like, you are moving on and they are moving on, right? But at the same time, it is not a twin flame connection, especially with that devil card being present. Now, in regards to your energy here, Gemini, let's take a look. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, January 2019. Let's see what's happening with you, baby. All right. Let's take a look. Six of Swords. Like I said, all about moving on, all about moving forward, all about doing your thing, baby, okay? And Seven of Swords in reverse, too. So with the Six of Swords to the Seven of Swords in reverse, you are letting go of everything. You are moving forward. And it almost feels like you're not even having guilt for things that you're doing. Now, you may have done some shitty things in your past, or you may have been holding on to some shitty things people have done to you in your past. You're releasing the shitty things. Why care about the shitty things? There's no point to give a flying diddly fuck about them. Because Six of Pentacles here, you're very focused on balancing out yourself, balancing out your life, balancing out your career, balancing out your love, doing things that are making you fucking valuable, okay? And with the Queen of Cups to the Nine, uh, to the Knight of Pentacles, it's not even a rush for love at this point. Because I feel like the experiences you've had with love weren't too great. They weren't too amazing. They kind of left a sour taste in your mouth. So what's the rush for love when I can be more so focused on money? What's the rush for love when I can be more so focused on my self-love? What's the rush for love when I'm surrounded by great people every day, such as friends and family members? So there's no rush for love anymore because you just don't see the point. You've had pretty bad experiences within it. So it's like, hey, let me focus more so on what I need to do, what I'm doing. And then when love comes, the time will be right for it. Now, you're not dissing love. You're not throwing it out of your life, but it feels as if you're like, hey, if it's meant to come, I'm going to allow it to come when it's perfectly timed. Instead of focusing on it now and trying to make it happen, why not let the universe just make it happen when it's right? Now, in regards to where energies are aligning between you and this person, let's take a look here, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 2019. Let's take a look, okay? So, the Magician card, Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords and the empress card a lot of major arcana coming out baby okay so in regards to where energies are aligning between you and this person there's a lot that you're going to find out about this person okay this person i feel almost um because i saw the six of wands energy in their position they can be doing things to try to make you jealous as well um meaning that they like attention crave attention and maybe they're trying to get a rise out of you meaning that whatever partner they're currently with they could be posting instagram pictures snapchats whatever just trying to get a rise out of you but with the Ace of Swords to the Magician card, um, little do you know, you'll be manifesting some stuff out of this person and you're doing it subconsciously. Now, you will be getting things revealed to you that you didn't know about this person. You may um, hear that the relationship that they're in isn't all pitch perfect like they try to make it be. This person you're connecting with may actually be suffering right now, especially because they're embodying the devil energy. They may be suffering right now because they're thinking of you and missing you. 
because eight of swords i'm already seeing it overthinking okay now you could have had a child with this person gemini or there could have been a miscarriage energy with this person so that may be another thing that carries really strong energy between you two but specifically if you have a child with this person and let's just say you know you are missing your baby daddy or missing your baby mama or whatever this makes a lot more sense for you so there's a lot of hidden truths that are coming out, I feel, in regards to the other person's relationship they're in. So you're going to be finding out that it's not pitch perfect, it's not amazing, and they actually still have, sometimes are overthinking and missing you, okay? And I'm also seeing that whoever it is you're connecting with here secretly, Gemini, they secretly do want to, you know, kind of reestablish some sort of grounding with you again, um, some sort of foundation with you again, but at the same time, are you willing to be open to it? because you're more so self-driven, you're more so focused on yourself. So that really all comes down to you. As for the overall outcome between you and this person in January 2019, let's take a look. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Geminis. Yeah. Ten of Wands, the Tower card, and the High Priestess. You're releasing this burden for you because it's not good. The Ten of Wands to the Tower is not even anything bad because I know a lot of people would think this is terrible, but the Ten of Wands to the Tower, this is you letting go of the burden. This is having one final breakdown and just letting it go because when the tower crashes and tumbles you are able to rebuild the tower aka being yourself in regard to this person here you both are going to find out a lot of information about each other because the high priestess once again is talking about his secrets ace of swords is revealing secrets okay you both are going to find out whatever it is that is hidden from each other whatever it is that you guys need to know and then you're going to be able to have a breakdown and be able to move forward now in regards to your own life and in regards to your own self Gemini from what I could see here it feels as if even though you and this person may not have had the best of times with the nine of cups you're coming out fine and you're gonna be just fine Gemini and the reason why I say that is because you're very focused on you and stay focused on you so overall this person you're connecting with I wouldn't call them irrelevant because they have a lot of relevancy in this reading but one of the most important things for you is that you're going to be working very hard on creating the best version of yourself you possibly can you are going to go through emotions. You are going to go through hard times. You are going to go through times of having this communication with this person where you feel empty, you feel sad, you'll feel burdened, whatever have you. But then it's going to crumble away. You both are going to purge. You both are going to release. And you're going to be able to move on with your lives separately. So at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation. All right? Gemini, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hold up. If it resonates, please let me know down in the comments down below. Take care, have a great 2019, and I will catch you guys later for your mid-monthlies, all right? Peace.